Hello and thank you for watching another Dofus video. My name is Caleb and you better subscribe right now or I will take a look at your cat and tell him he's a good kitty cat. I really don't know what I'm saying at the moment. But the next video we're going to do is a quest called Sow the Wind and Reap Artempeth. I don't, I don't, I don't know. What we have to do is go to 0 minus 19. We'll click on Erty. Say we're interested in plants. We'll accept and then we'll leave. So now we have to find the map, which is simply at 1 minus 21. So we go right one and then we go up two. So there are two lots of fights in this. The recommended level is 20 you have to have some items before we start this quest. So you have to have five drinking water. You have to have one demonic rose petal, one evil dandelion flower, one scarecrow tongue, one wild sunflower petal. They're important to finish this quest. If you don't have the item, you cannot, those items, you cannot continue. So we have to water the plant. So again, if you're not sure what you have to click, you can hold down the Y key and you can see we have to click on this here. So this will take one drinking water. Now we have to go down to the basement. We have to water four plants. So we'll water this one. And well, water that one and it will take four of our water. So now we go back and we'll talk to Erty again. And we will, there's a fair bit to this quest. So we'll follow it through and see how far we can get. It will be in the one video, but hopefully it won't go for too long. You can follow this one. And we'll get this one done and one step closer to our silver dofus. So we will just continue talking to Erty. So now we have to talk to Maywe Ngalsi. That's in the farmer's dungeon, I believe it is. Farmer's Workshop. I just had a look online. It is the Farmer's Workshop. So we'll just make our way across there. She is at 7 minus 24. So there's not too much longer. I hope I don't aggro them. No, good. Remember in the old Dofus when you used to click on the next map which there was monsters on. It would automatically think that you're trying to aggro the monsters, which is not ideal. Especially when you are doing quests and you're low level like I am. When you're level 61 at the moment. And you would aggro large, um, I guess, monsters. And it would not end well for us. So, we'll go inside the workshop. And we'll talk to Maui, Maui, who is here. Um, we do not want to hand over the key. Talk about the increase in parasites. And then we talk to Emia Eliasol, who is here. Discuss the parasites. Visit, visit Dragonsley, who is at... 3 minus 21 who is in the alchemist workshop so we can see that here on our quest so there's a fair bit of running to do with this one but overall it seems easy so far there are two battles i believe that we have to uh, fight so we'll see how we go with them in just a minute so we'll just make our way across to the Alchemist Workshop. We'll go inside the workshop. So this is where the items come important because we have to show the 
demonic rose petal, the evil dandelion flower, scarecrow tongue, wild sunflower petal. So we'll show them to Dragonsley. So here you can see them. We've already got them, so we can show them to Dragonsley. We'll take the mixture. So we have to craft one here. So we go and craft the item. So easy way, instead of scrolling all the way through, we can go only display items I can make. That one there, that's what we want. Thank you. And so now that we have one, we have to take it to Amelia Eliasol, who we just saw back at the farmer's workshop. And we have to use it in the attic, which will start the fight, our first fight. So inside a tofu house, we will enter a fight against a le one level 20 mosquito and one level 20 orange lava, which I'm pretty confident we can beat. Other characters cannot join that fight, but I'm pretty confident we should be able to beat that one pretty easily. So we'll just make our way there now. So we'll talk to Amelie and then we have to move to where we have to use the vermifuge. Show that. Notice where the addicts are. So you can see there's two here. So we'll go do the top one first. I don't think it matters which order you do it in. I think there is one fight and then I think the other one isn't a fight. So this one here is the five minus 26. So this is the fight. So you have to click on again, if you're not sure where to click, click, click the Y, we go there, we go here. And so if you click Y again, you can click on there and then we'll be entered into the fight. And I feel like we should be able to kill them pretty easily. So we'll just do our best to hurt them. Excellent, that's done. And now we have to try the other one. So now that we've finished that, we'll go back down to the other one, which is six minus 23. We have to click on the silo inside the tofu house, which I don't believe, from what I can see, there is not another fight, but we'll find that out very soon. So, again, you click the Y button, you can see that this is the one we have to go to. So we go inside the Tofu house, click on the silo, and we've used it. So now we've got to take one Dragonsley Vermifuge to Dragonsley. So we'll go do that now. So again, a fair bit of running, but it's all part of the quest. A few steps, but it doesn't seem too hard. So once we talk to Dragonsley, we have to talk to Erty again. Once we've talked to Erty, we have to find Erty's house, which is one of minus 21. And then we have to go to the basement and then we have to defeat one Artemph Rose. But first we go inside, we'll talk to Dragonsley. Report on how the tests are going. Excellent. So now we have to talk to Erty. So again, more running. Gotta be very fit by now. Not too far. So we'll go down and talk to Erty. 
is here, we'll talk to Ertie, pick up the discussion, continue, keep listening, keep listening. Oh, he loves to talk, doesn't he? Excellent, and now we have to go back, Ertie, trap chat, trap, trap chats, trap chats, house. It already tells you where. It says find the map, but it already tells you where. I've always found that a bit of a weird thing. Anyway, it doesn't leave much to the imagination, so we have to go inside his house. And then we have to go to the basement, which is here. And, <coughs> pardon me. Now we have to beat the rose. Alright, so who goes first? Me. Right. So I'm going to hit him. With, well, he's got 330 health. Doesn't look like any sort of resistance. He's got four movement points. But we'll hit him as much as we can. And we should be able to beat him. Probably not next turn. Maybe. I'm not sure what he did there. He didn't heal himself. We'll move one more. We'll go all the way and see if we can get him one hit. No, we cannot. But we'll beat him in the next one, for sure. That's no problem. He's a goner. So now we've dropped the flower, which is a quest item. You cannot sell it. So we'll go back and we have to talk to Ertie again. Who we know is down one, left one. And down one again, actually. We'll talk to Ertie, hand over the flower. Now we have to visit Raymond Santho, who you can see on the map here. He's at five minus 21. And then after we've done that, we have to go back to talk to Ertie again. There's a lot of running in this one, but that's okay. Because it's all for a good cause in the end. We need to get this one completed to be able to get our silver dofus. So it's all very important. So, continue our running and then we'll have to go back and talk to Erdy again. So Raymond's here, we'll click on Raymond, talk to Raymond. And now we go back to talk to Erty. Interesting. So this is, it feels like a pretty long quest. I'm not sure how long the video has gone for. I'll just check. Oh, it's already gone for 13 minutes. That's quite a long, a long quest. I feel like I've gone as fast as I can. I don't think there's too many ways you could. Uh, Fasten that up besides a mount. So we'll talk to Erty, continue on, and then now the quest is complete. So the wind and reap Artempeth. Artempeth? I don't. Somebody has to tell me what that is because I have no idea. So in our quest, uh, actually achievements rather, we're trying to go for, if we go down to Astrup, so 71%. Getaways and ambushes. So we have now completed mission imp possible. Sow the wind and reap. And then the next one we're going to be looking at is the lumberjacks in distress. So thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe and like the video. And I'll see you in the next Dofus English video. Thanks for watching.